Thousands of people are traveling to North Carolina for abortions. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Rod Carter. Glad you could be here. A new report shows that abortions are up in the state since the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade. And more than a quarter of abortions performed here are for out-of-state patients. CBS 17's Maggie Newland has been digging deeper into this for us and joins us live. Rod and Liz, I spoke with two abortion providers here in North Carolina. They tell me they are seeing more people come here from out of state, but they are, are also seeing some North Carolina patients going to states with fewer restrictions. Woman's Choice provides abortions at clinics across North Carolina, but many patients are not from the state. We are seeing patients, a, a large amount from South Carolina, Georgia, some from Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, and now, of course, Florida. Those states have more restrictive laws than North Carolina, which bans most abortions after 12 weeks of pregnancy. Estimates released by the Guttmacher Institute, a research and policy organization that supports abortion rights, shows abortions are up more than 43 percent in North Carolina since 2020. The proportion of people traveling from other states to get an abortion is also up, from 17 percent in 2020 to 35 percent in 2023. This map on the Guttmacher Institute website shows that patients came from across the South to North Carolina in 2023. The most came from Georgia with nearly 6,000 patients. South Carolina had another 5,700. We have been really creative in trying to accommodate more patients. We're opening up um, different appointment times. We have been both a receiver of patients coming from out of state and also have had to refer our patients from out of state. Duke OBGYN Dr. Jonas Swartz says while patients from more restrictive states are traveling to North Carolina, he's also sending more patients out of state since North Carolina's 12-week ban took effect. He says the biggest obstacle for many is the required in-person visit 72 hours before an abortion. I also provide abortion care in Virginia, and it's very common that I will see patients who are under our gestational age limit coming from North Carolina who say things like, I'm a teacher, I work in healthcare, I can't take two days off work to have an abortion in North Carolina, I'd rather drive five hours to get care in one day. And when that law went into effect nearly a year ago, a woman's choice actually opened a clinic across the state line in Danville, Virginia. In Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News. All right, Maggie, thank you. So we'd like to hear from you on this issue. We want to know if you think North Carolina should further restrict abortion access, yes or no. Right now, 68% uh, of you say no. If you'd like to weigh in, go to the CBS 17 News app, click the menu in the upper left corner and select CBS 17 Votes.